This is a study of a rectangular fin array. First of all, we begin by the geometry part, starting by drawing the fin. The aluminum fin has a height of 5 mm and a width of 100 mm. Then, to form the array, we create a pattern choosing the directions. Once the pattern is done, we have to draw the enclosure for the ambient air. Now that the drawing is done, we can go to the mesh part. The first thing to do is name the faces. Inlet for where the air is entering. Outlet for where it's leaving. The other three faces we will call them symmetry. And we have T base 1 and T base 2. Then, to make the work easier, we will create a name selection for the fins. For the mesh part, we have to change the settings and use an inflation. Once we generate the mesh, we will check for orthogonal quality and skewness. Maximum skewness must be close to 0.8 and minimum orthogonal quality must be close to 0.2. To have better result, we will add face sizing to the fins. We will start by an element size of 1.5 mm. Skewness and orthogonal quality can be improved, so we will lower the element side to 1.2 mm.
Since now we have good results, we can move to the fluent part. We will set the flow to be laminar, then we will change the boundary conditions. Temperature at base 1 and 2, 800 Kelvin, at the inlet 300. Setting the options for the solution. And finally, we calculate the solution and wait for it to converge. The same study was made on a triangular fin array. The mesh that we got The temperature distribution And finally, we compared the analytical and numerical results.